Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm gonna bring you along with me. We're gonna go to Walmart, get groceries, and then I'll show you my haul, and I'll also show you my meal plan for the week. Okay, so I need to go to Walmart. However, I don't wanna go to the big Walmart. I wanna go to just the neighborhood market. But I also want Dunkin' because I want some good coffee. We were out of town this weekend. Sorry, I'm trying to get this. There we go. We were out of town this weekend, and you know what it's like to have hotel coffee. Like the coffee they put in your room. It's just not good. Um, we had coffee this morning here at home, and it was good, but we legit used the last of the coffee this morning. So it is like dire situation. I've got to go to the grocery store. We're out of bread. We're out of eggs. We're out of milk. We're out of coffee. So yeah. Um, so I want to go by Duncan and get some good coffee. But Duncan is nowhere near that Walmart, but it's okay. I'm going to go out of my way and go to that Duncan and get good coffee and then go to Walmart. And if I see anything interesting in Walmart, I will show you. I'll bring you along. And then, yeah, we'll come home and do the haul and um, the meal plan. And then I need to paint my nails because I sat down when I got home last night after we unpacked. I'm one of those people, you have to tell me, as soon as we get home, like we rode for four hours, as soon as you get home, I don't sit down until everything is unpacked. Completely everything. I cannot stand for there to be bags with my stuff in them. No, it has to be completely unpacked. So I did all of that. And then once I did all of that, got laundry going, I sat down to watch a Hallmark Christmas movie and I sat there and I peeled my nail polish off. Why? I don't know. I made a little pile of it in my lap and then threw it all away. I feel like this is confessions with Mandy. <laughs> Anywho, so you, I'm not going to bring y'all along while I paint my nails, but I just thought I would share that because why not? I'm also stalling. I don't want to go to the grocery store. Ooh, it looks like it might rain. Like it's like sunny, but there's like icky clouds. Okay, let's go to Duncan. Ooh, they don't have pumpkin stuff anymore, do they? They have holiday stuff now. I'm excited about that. Let's go. Okay, I'm at Walmart. It's not too busy, but I'm really hoping it doesn't start raining because it looks like it's gonna. I got, what did I get? The Basically, I got the peppermint mocha latte, but I told them I didn't want like the signature stuff, like the whipped cream and all the stuff on top. And y'all, hear me out. One of my favorite holiday drinks has been peppermint mocha or peppermint chocolate, that type thing for ever since I can remember. And I've, I mean, I've, I've drank some of it, but it is just not my favorite this year. So I never know, I've never tried anything else. I don't think around the holidays, this is like my go-to. So give me some suge suggestions below. I haven't tried their gingerbread latte. I do want to try that. Also, I was going to get, I was like that spicy ghost pepper donut sounds interesting. So I asked the girl at the drive-thru, I said, is it really spicy? She said, I took one bite of it and it was very spicy. And she didn't, she said she didn't like it. So I don't know, spicy donut. That's just weird to me. So I, I, I didn't get it, but I don't know. Look how much chocolate's on the bottom of this though. Eh, it's okay. I need some suggestions. What's a good holiday one? I don't like anything eggnog flavored. Let me just, let me just go ahead and tell you that. But Walmart. Let's go in. Let's do this. So they hardly had any produce whatsoever. Can you hear me? I wonder I wonder if you can even hear me. Is there any point to me even filming this? They were out of almost everything in the produce section. It is Monday though, so that's what I get for coming on a Monday. But I'm currently in the refrigerated section and it's cold. We have hit the jackpot. These say these are new, but I've seen them for a while now. Tell me below, Krispy Kreme or Dunkin' Donuts Donuts? I'm not gonna tell you which one I like better. Do you know? Maybe I've told you before. So Steven prefers the sunflower seeds that are not roasted and salted, and they never have them here. They always have them at Aldi, but the ones here are always salted and roasted. Uh, wait, 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 I say that. What are these? They're upside down. Roasted and salted, yep. I don't understand that. This is one of those sections that I really like to take my time in and just look at all of the different things. I don't think I've ever noticed these before. 
Has anyone ever tried these? They look interesting to me. Packaging gets me every time. I've also never paid attention to these. I did not know Sanic. Sanic? No, Mandy. No. Sonic had these out. Very interesting. Cherry limeade, ocean water, watermelon. Very cool. Genius idea alert. These say they're new. Look at this, the slow cooker kit for a scoop cake. So this is strawberry and white chocolate cake, caramel, apple, and a spice cake, cherry and confetti cake, and <gasps> blueberry and lemon cake. It's pretty expensive, but I guess everything is in there that you'll need. Let's look. Uh, doesn't say. What do you do? Here we go. All you need is some butter and your slow cooker. Pretty cool. So I don't have to stop by the Pop-Tarts this time because Cole said that he is burned out on Pop-Tarts. If you've been around for a while, you know that his favorite Pop-Tarts are the s'mores. These, but if he's had like one box that's been lasting forever. I said, Cole, why aren't you eating them? He said, I'm, I'm kind of done with them, mama. <laughs> How have I never seen this before? Totally getting this for when I make waffles at home because Cole does not like blueberry waffles. So when I get a mix that has the dried blueberries in it, he's not a big fan. So this way I can still have my blueberries, but it's just not in the waffles. Yes. No. Okay, so I just got back from Walmart. I had to get a good bit of stuff and I thought it was gonna be more than it was. It was $100.41, which is actually really not bad considering all the meats and things that I got. I'm gonna flip you around and show you everything. There was just one or two impulse buys. I did pretty good sticking to the list this week, but let me show you. Okay, here is everything. And let's start over here with the meat. We needed some more bacon. I don't know if I've ever bought this particular kind. We're gonna give it a shot though. And we needed some more sausage. The last couple of times I've been there, they haven't had any sausage, at least the kind that I like. So I was excited that they finally did. I got a family size. I got the last family size rotisserie chicken. This is the garlic flavored. We are gonna be using this for a couple of different meals this week. And I know it's rather large, but um, I really love the bigger ones if I can get those at Walmart. You can usually get the bigger ones at Sam's Club, but at Walmart it's hard to find them. So I was excited that there was one left. Got some more milk. I got chips. I was looking for the Miss Vicky's salt and vinegar, but they were out of them. They had Miss Vicky's jalapeno, which I should have gotten, but Cole really loves the great value jalapeno. So I got those two. These um, buttermilk biscuits are for pigs in a blanket. I saw Fallon over on Moss Family TV make those a couple of days ago, and I was like, ooh, that sounds really good. So I got some little Smokies too, and I'm gonna make pigs in a blanket. Got some sharp cheddar cheese. We recently tried the crescent rolls in the Sweet Hawaiian and loved it. So I thought I would grab a thing of biscuits in the Sweet Hawaiian. Sour cream, eggs. We're going to be trying a new recipe this week and I'm gonna, you can use pretty much whatever chicken you want to with it. I'm gonna use tenderloins. Cole has really been loving having Eggos lately. So I got some more Eggos and I can always use my blueberry syrup with the Eggos if I wanna have some too. I really love grits and I don't get them very often at all, but today I was in a grits mood. So picked up some butter flavored grits, some more sugar. We recently ran out of bacon pieces. So I grabbed some more of that. We ran out of coffee this morning. Remember I told you that earlier? Hold on, I'm not exaggerating, let me show you. We ran out of coffee, so this was a must. I was looking for Zatarain's chicken fry but I didn't even see a place for it on the shelf. So I got this, I'm hoping this will work. I like that it's the spicy recipe. We'll see how it goes. I got some linguine. I've never, I don't think I've tried this kind, the chicken broccoli rice from Noor. So we'll give that a shot. The guys have really been loving having uh, ramen noodles for lunch. So I got a couple of the pork flavor for Cole and then Steven really loves the creamy chicken flavor. They also love having chicken noodle soup for lunches, so I got that. We have gone through these like crazy lately. Another thing for lunches for Cole, um, he loves 
He loves the Denty Moore beef stew, but he really likes these too. So this is the beef and mashed potatoes with gravy and then the beef pot roast. I got some diced green chilies and I don't think I've ever tried these, but I thought this might be a good addition to like a chili or something, the jalapeno peppers. That was definitely an impulse buy, but I mean, you just got to, right? Cole and I really enjoy chocolate flavored stuff, so that's why I got that one instead of the white ones. We needed some more bread, we were completely out. I didn't need a whole lot of produce this week. I got regular carrots, this two pound bag of baby carrots. Got some Boston lettuce. I was gonna get just the green leaf lettuce. Ew, that is not looking so hot. Okay, it's just that one spot. I was gonna get the green leaf lettuce, but they were completely out. Like they were, there was hardly anything left over in the produce section. Got some tomatoes, a couple of lemons, and some green onion. Then I got two bags of 12 ounce broccoli florets and some sparkling waters that we love and a Sprite Zero that we love. Now for the menu for the week. Tonight we are having a new recipe called chicken, is it divan? I'm guessing, I don't know. I've seen that recipe before, but this one seemed really good and I've never tried it, so we're gonna try that. I'm making spicy Thai noodles tomorrow, and then we're gonna have subby supper on Wednesday. We'll do leftovers on Thursday. On Friday, we're gonna have chicken Brunswick stew. It's the one that I froze. I made it, it was a subby supper, maybe a month or two ago, and I froze half of it. So I'm gonna thaw it out on Thursday, like bring it out Thursday night, let it thaw out all day Friday, and then put it in the Dutch oven Friday evening, and that's what we'll have for dinner. Saturday night, we might be going out, and then Sunday, we'll be eating at church. But that is this week's menu plan. And that's gonna be it for this grocery haul. I was not in the mood to go to the grocery store today. You know when you come back from vacation and you're still like vacation mode and you really just don't want to do anything? That was me today. But I'm glad I got it done. I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. I have a feeling it's going to be really good. Now I'm going to put these groceries away and go rest a little bit before it's time to cook dinner. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back on Friday with a new What's for Dinner. So if you have never been here before and you're interested in getting some new dinner recipes, check me out on Fridays. So hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see y'all back here on Friday. Bye y'all.